Hey guys, uh, Michael here. Welcome to the channel. It's been like two months since I posted a video and uh, man, it was kind of hard to be a beginner learning how to write and kind of like dialing in your techniques and then shooting videos at the same time and learning how to edit. It was, it was too much. So I decided to take one thing at a time. And so I took my time to kind of really learn how to maneuver and ride the MSP high speed. And uh, yeah, I'm back now. So basically in this video is gonna be uh, <coughs> first look at the RS. I uh, started on that little nine boat over there like six months ago. Rode that for two months as I waited for the high speed MSP, got the high speed and the first, the first two that I got, the, the first MSP that I, uh, I received from Ewheels ended up having a problem with the control board. The MOSFETs thingy, it blew up. Like I literally went out tasting it, riding it for the first time, the first day, and everything went to hell basically. I uh, sent it back to E-Wheels two days after that, and uh, they sent me this wheel. So I've been riding it for four months. I have uh, 2,000 miles on it so far, and it's been perfect though. So today, uh, we're gonna be getting this RS out of the box, looking at what comes in the box when you order, or if you order from E-Wheels. And uh, since I'm gonna be having these two, I will try not to do any comparisons between them initially, but I know it's gonna be hard. Um, but one thing that I can say out of the, when I receive the box, just to get the box from the door to here, it's it feels a little bit heavier than how, uh, the MSP was. I'm not sure. So I have a scale. I'm going to get it out of the box and uh, put it on the scale and see how heavy it is. So without further ado, my dudes, uh, let's cut the Shakespeare and dive into it. So the first thing that you get is, uh, it's a manual, the user manual. It's, uh, the one, the one that I got for, for the MSP was in, uh, it, everything was written in Chinese. And this one looks like it's in English. Yep. And I don't know if it's visible, but they have, uh, they have a, a, a list of all the wheels. So they start with the M103 and then the MCM5. We have the Tesla. And uh, the Nikola, and then the RS, uh, the Monster V3, looks like it's the 100 volt, and uh, then the EX. And basically, it's it's a basic user manual, but it looks much better than uh, the one that came with the MSP, the thing. And I'm assuming this is the 3M charger. It's the same 3 amp charger that the MSP uses. It doesn't have that plastic smell to it. And uh, wrist guards. <laughs> the last video that I did, I didn't, I didn't know the importance of this thing because I was still new to this stuff. And when I crashed, I had motorcycle gloves and that did not help. But so now I swear by these things. And then we have the, the man of the show. Man, this thing is heavy. This thing is heavy, guys. <laughs> uh. And you can see the pedals. They have this protection thingy. Same thing with this. Looks like it's missing something. Side pads. Yeah, because the, the MSP came with the side pads attached to it. Oh, here they are. And uh, you also get two of these side pad thingies. 
so it's not it's not already mounted like the one with the way the msp came with it so i want to take the weight measurements on this thing man this thing is stupidly heavy and we're gonna put the plant the, the 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 side pads with it because it it's it, you're gonna be riding with it yeah i'm getting 60 60.6 60 pounds the total weight of the wheel and the the pads this thing is heavy man let me take the measurements of the ms msp <clears throat> So the MSP is uh, 54.2 54 54 pounds. So that's like six pound difference. Everything about it looks bigger. The pedals, they look almost the same. Uh, with the Nikola pedals, they look almost the same, the same size and it's the same grip tape thingy that they use, but it has some red rubber strips on it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera around, but the magnet that holds the pedals, it has this uh, new, new logo, the new Gatway logo, whatever company they call it nowadays. So we're going to turn on, we're going to power this thing on and it's supposed to be on uh, transport mode. So the way you disengage that is you hold the um, you hold the kill switch and press the power button five times. I think we're gonna find out. So that the thing doesn't free spin in case it's not the way. Man, this thing is, it's massive. It's its like the MSP, but everything about it looks bigger. It looks, it's much wider than the MSP. Yep. It's on, it's on transport mode. So the gyros are not gonna engage, but The LEDs, they look like they have a whole bunch of scratches on them. <laughs> uh, and on the left part over here, you have a, the, the, the buzzer thingy that gives you warning. It's on, uh, and it's massive, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about this wheel is huge. And that's the look, the, 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 the look of the tail look. It uses the same tail light as the MSP and then almost the same tail light. The, the, both the LEDs, they look almost the same. The, the front and the back, but just different colors, different settings. Okay, so I guess to engage the gyros, there you go, and then you power it on now, so it's off, and then, woo, we're in business, baby, we are in business. You can hear some hissing noise in there. It's 
it's a bunch of funny noises inside the wheel but i guess because it's wider so they the the there is a space for the uh whatever sound to be in there to to get uh, amplified but i'm used to the gateway gateway funny funny gateway things so this one doesn't scare me really uh we're gonna find the angle at which is gonna cut out the lean angle which the wheel is gonna cut out should be roughly around 45 ish yep there you go and then it kicks back in okay we're gonna test the kill switch it's not supposed to spin if you lift it man this thing is heavy so yeah lifting it use while you hold the kill switch works the way it's supposed to uh the speakers they look to be like much bigger than the ones on the msp because in the msp the rubber the red thingy it's it's in there so you can't you don't see the red rubber that much uh but on this one it looks like it's a little bit more exposed so this is the gateway logo that i was talking about that is the magnet and the one thing i like about it which is almost the same thing with the msp the pedal is loose it doesn't have the, st the sticky pedal and i like that about it the tire that comes with it cst tire uh the cst on my msp is basically almost like slicks now so looking at this it looks way more aggressive the threads on it they look way way more aggressive and uh let's do the lights on it those are the uh leds so it runs on the same t6 headlights it looks like it points its angle downwards it's not like the msp that it looks to be a little bit straight I don't know if this is gonna make sense, but there, there's a whole bunch of noise in there. <laughs> it looks like uh, there's a lot of space. And whatever noises, I don't know if you can hear this. There's a whole bunch of noisy stuff in there. So, and, and, and now that the, the switch is on, on, on the handle, let me turn this off. Got a whole bunch of noises going on in there. Okay. So I'm going to try something. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> now that the kill switch is on top of, uh, of the wheel, for the MSP, since the kill switch is somewhere around here, you can't do this. So I'm going to grab tape. Because I want to test, I'm going to connect it to the app and test the speakers. The idea is to lock it on the up position so that it doesn't engage the motor.
Yep, it works. Man, this thing is heavy. <laughs> uh. So I'm gonna connect the the wheel to the EUC World app and <clears throat> test the speakers. Yep. So it's hooked up. I don't know if if it's visible. It comes fully charged at uh, 100 percent batteries on it. And when I got the MSP, it had been set to 84 volts, and you had to change it, but for the for the RS, it comes set to 100 volts. No, actually, I think you do that on the app. It's not the wheel, it's the app. Sorry about that. And it has zero miles on it. So out of the box, I'm looking at the data on it and the settings on it, and it's been set to hard mode. I don't like hard mode. I write on soft mode. So we're going to go ahead and change that one. So now I'm using the app to mess around with it. LED mode, zero, I mean, that's, that's the fast mode. I think I like this where the front ones are red and the rear ones are, the front ones are white and the rear ones are red. That's the second one, LED mode two. Three is the flashing one. Four is uh, basically off. It's kind of hard to do a free spin on this thing because the kill switch is literally underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the phone down and lift it with like two fingers in the front of the switch and two fingers on the back of the switch. And then you guys have to just trust me when, with whatever number I'm going to show you. And also uh, now, now that the buzzer thing is exposed it should be much louder uh, to hear so when uh, when the wheel gets to that top speed uh, it should be much louder that's that's basically i think the expectation and uh, i'm gonna see at what speed in terms of miles per hour is gonna cut out for the msp it's at 61 60 61.2 maybe uh, hopefully this is gonna match that I have 60, I saw 61, but on the app it says 60.6. .6. And again, it's hard to do a free spin on this thing because of the, the, the location of the switch. 60.6, uh, 60, basically the same thing as the high-speed high uh, MSP. And to me, that's, that's a very good place to start on. One thing that I'm, I'm I'm realizing about the the MS the RS the fan kicks on at 1 or 2 degrees so far, and then it's kind of louder. It sounds it can it sounds a little bit more powerful because it drops the temperature quick. So it starts at 1 or 2 and drops it to 96 and cuts out. It takes a little bit a, a little while for the MSP to drop the temperature to 95 from 100. So that's a thing. This video is just all over the place. So tomorrow I'm going to make a more, uh, maybe two days from now, I'm going to post another video of uh, me comparing the RS with the MSP because my head is all over. I'm looking at this. It looks like the MSP, but it's not. And 
I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll see you guys on the next video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, you, you, you have a good day, good night. Uh, enjoy riding. I'm, I was thinking about taking it for a ride to just kind of get the feel of it. It's, it's, it's getting dark though.